Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. Now, I want to tell y'all why I have been away. I'm first going to move my camera ever so slightly. Uh, okay. How did I do that? Oh, I see what I clicked. Never mind. <laughs> I want to put me in the corner. Okay. So, why I have been away is that, or from this game, is that my main rig crashed. Uh, it runs for a little while, but I cannot capture anything on it, and I can't play a game on it. I can't stream from it. Uh, with that going on, then what's going on basically is that I could not... I could not record the episodes uh, because with this PC I'm using, it's just got a an SSD, like a, a one terabyte SSD, I think. And all of my programs and stuff, I think it's a 500 gigabyte SSD, actually. Um, and so with all of my stuff installed, my programs installed, and then a few games, it actually is slap full uh, besides 100 gigabytes and I have 107 gigabytes to record stuff so that's why I have not been on uh, and I'm, I'm sorry for that but that is why it's happened so what we're going to do tonight is we're going to hit continue I'm going to go ahead and record for tonight and as you will see me moving stuff around over here and when I move the stuff around, what's going to happen basically is I have, uh, I'm going to move a file to another folder and then I'm going to delete it. The, the second file, the way I record, it makes a MKV file and then it remuxes it to an MP4. That way, if there's a crash, it should Besides just... Uh oh hold on. I know what that is. If y'all see that happen to where in the corner up there, it pops up like you have a headset hooked up. You have a PS4 controller hooked in charging, and it has stopped charging. And now it says headset disconnected. But you see, all I done was disconnect the controller. There's no headset connected to it at all. So anyway... Um, where was I at? Oh, yes. Uh, the way I record, it makes a mock V file, and then it makes an MP4 from that, and I need to delete the mock V file. So when I, I do that, uh, it might take a minute in between the episodes that we're recording, but I'm not going to talk about the episodes. We're just going to record them the way that I had started doing with Assassin's Creed. So let's get to it. Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. As I was explaining earlier in the stream for everybody... There's a reason that I have not been playing, and it's that uh, after the first few um, days of playing, my PC messed up, and I am unable still to get that PC to work, but I'm using a different PC, and I had a bunch of video projects that were taking up all the room on the hard drive that I had to get fixed, and so we're back. We've got everything... Uh, I don't know if I'm doing right or not. I'm trying to remember how to do it. You know what to do, boy. Level up right there. So anyway, uh, that's why we've not been able to play this. It was not that I didn't want to play this. I love this game. I just seriously was unable to. So. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Oh my gosh, I am so happy to be back! <laughs> yes. 
Yes! What's this over here? Ooh. I'm gonna fight, fight, fight. Get him! There, boy! Okay. So again, if uh, y'all are joining recently, we are playing on the easiest mode for the story, and basically we're just trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, I may come back and play this again on a harder mode. I don't know. You know what to do. Get them all you've got. Get them. Sick of toggle. So on. I don't know about on this game, but on uh, Final Fantasy XV, I was quite a beast at the fighting. Um, the multiplayer was absolutely no problem for me whatsoever. Uh, how do you get to running faster? Yes, there. Um, but yeah, the, the multiplayer was no problem for me whatsoever. And... Uh, I actually quite a few people was like, oh my god, you're good. <laughs> so I can't remember what it was. Companions, I think is what it was called. That's one but um, I don't think that this game would be hard on a harder mode. Is basically what I'm saying. So I may beef it up at some point. I don't really know. I don't know how to change... Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? Oh, hold on one second. I have to fix something, too. Alright, sorry about that. I had to fix the audio. It'll be a little bit louder. There we go. Ready goes to East Bull, leave him in the park. Take more when the bridge is back. When's that gonna be? Welcome back. Am I getting the wrong one? <laughs> CG, will you say something right quick? Thank you. All right, I had to adjust that volume a little bit more. I had to adjust it for recording uh, last night on PC, so. Speak with Martha. Oh, no. I hope it's not Martha from the commercials with the big glasses. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what is that? Is that a, a fast travel point? I think it is. This isn't the first time I've seen one of these. Perhaps I can use them as way marks. Here, has this thing always been glowing? Nope. Okay. Where's Martha at? Martha's in here. Oh, wait a minute. There's something up here, too. Is there a... Oh, that's right. There's no mini-map. Cool. <coughs> there's an 
There's a new one coming out, I think, uh, on PlayStation that uh, you might want to check out. A Baster Sword. Uh, is that all oh, that's to sell? Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Man. It's something, guys. Uh, it ends with guys. It's, I know that. Oh, is it? All right, let's go back in here. Hello, Martha. It's good, honest work building that. On dressing greens of Gishul. Gishul. Uh, never down raw, lest bitter juices inspire violent retching and loose bowels. Oh my gosh. Uh, avoid the fry pan, lest foul stink taint the iron, rendering it none better than slag. And by no means put it to stew, lest the vapors overexcite stable boasts. If suffer the fodder one must, first mix with nine part drake's mint, six part lemon peel, or three part ginger root, and soak the honeyed in honeyed wine for a quarter moon to lessen mulador. All right. Hey, Miss Nikki, I am doing good. How are you? Martha Brooks, no sharps. The following uh, cheatery will not be or will be repaid with a swift boot in the arse. Mucking, stacking, packing, peeking, palming, boisting, and. Okay. Excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the malicious way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. So, if y'all don't know, I am the prince. But I've been branding the slave. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be. If the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Oh no. You think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. Your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. 
Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. If y'all want to catch up on this, do command exclamation you twit as one word, and on my channel, just search for Final Fantasy 16. Uh, there's the if it says archive, that's a stream archive. If it doesn't, then that's the actual recording. And y'all just check that out, and you can catch up if you need to. But I'll give a I'll give spoilers here in three, two, one. Up to this point, uh, we are the prince, and our brother is the bearer, or is the um, he carries Phoenix and the Eidolon Phoenix in him. And although our character Clive does not know it, he carries Ifrit, who is another fire one Eidolon. I can't remember what they call him in this game, but in the other ones are Eidolons and summons and stuff like that. And the girl Jill that's with me, this lady here, she was my childhood friend, and this was our childhood dog. And uh, this is Torgal. And so Jill actually carries uh, Shiva, who was the ice goddess. So uh, my father, uh, we went to the Phoenix Gate where the little brother was supposed to be. Um, I don't know if he was becoming the Phoenix or exactly what was going on, but I had to escort him and be his bodyguard. Nobody knew that I had the power in me, and our father got killed by traitors. Actually, our mother was a traitor, and so we ended up, the mother said, just kill Clive. She didn't want him alive because she didn't think he had any power, and so now we're going back to try to find out what happened because Ifrit come alive when Phoenix come alive, and they fought, and he thinks that he... He killed his brother. Let's but when we ended the last episode, there was a uh, scene where our brother is actually alive still. And Clive does not know what he thinks that he killed his brother now. He has since turned into Ifrit again. Yes, ma'am. Sure y'all can talk all y'all want while I'm recording. I'm just explaining what's happened since uh, the last time I was able to play this. These or this game has some absolute epic battles. And that must be the ladder. I mean, epic, epic, epic! It is so good. I can't talk to you anymore. <laughs> I'm picking. I Final Fantasy is by far my favorite series of all time. What was that? It came from under the bridge. Come on. There he is. Hold on, we're coming. That was wasted. <laughs> I don't remember how to switch it automatically switches or something oh I, final fantasy 7 is my favorite game of all time the original the remake is redoing the story somewhat i'm hoping that they they don't kill one of my favorite characters in the new version. I, I don't. I don't want to suffer through that death again. <laughs> we actually played the original one on stream here about a year or two ago, uh, right before that one came out. My lady, you saved my life. Right after, maybe. Not at all. You're Bernard the carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turned around 
I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but I think it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Egg. In other words, get your butt back to work, man. Yeah, I, I geek out on Final Fantasy, my favorite series of all time. I love the stories. That's why I'm oh, the doing the easy thing. mode for the story. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right. And she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. I have Divinity, but I've never played it. Is it good? You should try Dragon Age, and you should also try Baldur's Gate. I don't think I would like Baldur's Gate 3 because of the combat, but it does look like a good game. I hear the levees are due to go up. Would you like that? Oh, there's plenty more where that came from. I, I'm talking about all the Dragon Ages. I love all of the Dragon Ages. Inquisition's really good, but Origins is the best, and 2 is actually really good. People were on the, the bandwagon of that was something not to like, and so nobody liked it, but... If you can play on PC sometime, you should definitely get Dragon Age Origins at least. It's the best. you're back what happened did you find bernard we did he's fine and he'll have the bridge to eastpool repaired soon oh, well thank the founder for that it was lucky we found him when we did the creatures out there are not to be trifled with it's the blight's fault they had nothing to eat in the north so they come down here hunting for food he can't keep going out alone i'll have to arrange a guard for him but anyway thank you you welcome, ma'am. I have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. Uh, We'd be delighted. There are elves. There's bull people, but there's no lizard people. I think you're thinking about Elder Scrolls, which is amazing as well. Skyrim is one of the best games ever made. I really wanted to play uh, Starfield. But my PC crashed, so all of the money I had for Starfield is going to go towards fixing my PC. Um, okay. I guess you don't have to take them. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? It tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes, there were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? They have, aye. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but 
but after seeing it with my own eyes. Well. Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison. I let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. What? No harm done, eh? Mum, he weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? Wow. Really? Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now, they've fallen so far... Beggar wouldn't spit on him. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. Quest accepted. Prioritize quest. Oh, crap. All right, I got to figure out how to do that. You talking about, okay, that's Divinity 2. Yeah, that's the one I have, I think, is Divinity to, I got the disc for it. I think I have a PS3 version, or I don't know. It might be PS4. Uh, let's. How do I get? Is it the journal? Okay, there are icons in this, not idolons. I I'll have to check it out. Uh, okay, homecoming. Bears lot. Okay. So yeah, that's all we got to do then. Let's go. Hold on one second, y'all. Fish there, son. Keep it nice and fresh. Let me pause that just a second. I'll be right back. I gotta find something. going to play Final Fantasy. We have to have our very own Chocobo. Hold on, I'll spell it for you. They are called a Chocobo. And this one's name is Bocacho. One second, y'all, before I hit resume. Oh, 
On here, just yes or no. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go. Am I uh, in the wrong place again? Oh, no, here we go. I knew that children. No. That a bear is fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. Wish. I know. But for a child to be blamed. Question is, do you want its parents through no fault of its own? We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. No. Don't let them get away. Okay. I don't. Okay, there, there we go. There we go. It's L two. All right, I know how to play now. Yes, that's what Something over here, okay. Never have, uh, just so you know. <sighs> Look at that chocobo right there. It's a blue green, it's a mountain river chocobo. It's a bluebird. That's not a chocobo, though. It's... Oh! 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 No, I never have. Sick of Toggle. You know what to do, boy. So they are chocobos. I didn't want to have to attack it. Okay. I thought I could just walk up to it and we'd be cool. Okay. 
Oh man, that's a big one out there. Look at that one. I think we fought one of them before. They are beasties and a half. That's a big horn, baby. Pressing wrong button. Oh, they are hard to kill. They're very tanky. They're sponges. Oh, man. Get him, boy. Sick of Togo. Get him. Did we go back to the... I don't know where we're going. I'm trying to figure it out, but it looks like there's a lake in my way. Uh, is it wanting us... It's wanting us to go over here. What? There needs to be a way for us to... Okay, I see, I see. Probably going to switch out my gear here soon. There's the Abbey. What darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Let's go and see. I'm wondering how much more I need to actually level up. I'm trying to get him to heal me. So, I currently have the stuff on that it makes it automatically do stuff. It's Once you learn the system, it's not hard to do it. And you'll actually have a lot easier time or a you'll have you'll be a lot more powerful to use other accessories
Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation from Martha. I see. Then please follow me. I got a crick in my neck. I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light, it fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can, for the time they have left. has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Now their final moments may be moments of peace. So, I thought the all right the bearers had the icons, when but next you see Martha, pray tell her that. Two more have succumbed. So, do these two suffer the same fate? Or, I I don't think that everybody running around with the mark is a, a bearer of an icon, though. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. Hear something, but I don't know what it is. Yeah! 
Thank you, thank you. I've got water in the blue, and I've got green tea, the last of my green tea in this, if you're wondering. I got another cup of water over here, but I'm almost out of water up here, I think. Almost. I only consume caffeine drink wise for uh, migraines. Nowadays, anyway. I, I will drink coffee sometimes, but uh, I will drink um, unsweet tea if my aunt goes and gets food somewhere. Which I forgot we're actually supposed to do something in the morning. I don't know if she remembers that. It was good, honest work building the hackwood. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield, but never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight, but so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You've got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. Seal obtained. Slumbering Chocobo. And know that you will always be welcome here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Quest complete. Woo! We got some money! Yeah, uh, that's why I don't drink sweet tea is because my doctor's fussed at me saying I don't need to drink anything with a lot of uh, sweetness to it or anything like that. I love sweet tea, but I like if we go to uh, Bojangles, I get unsweet tea. If we go anywhere else around here, I get unsweet tea except for McDonald's. If we go to McDonald's ever. I have to get sweet tea because the unsweet tea tastes like cleaning clement or <clears throat> cleaning chemicals. And I don't know why that is, but I refuse to drink it. Sid. 
Sid. Ah, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. If you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. yeah. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> Try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. So we're on our own without Sid now. Holding on. What are we holding on to? Ah, wait, 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 wait. Make for East. Well, it says a new quest is nearby. Uh, can how do I put? There's my mark. All right, right there. I have to find him before. Can't talk now, I... Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now, one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. 
Will you help me find him? Yes, sir. Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false, acted like he was one of us, and the old time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right, you don't send a bearer. <coughs> Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. Okay, prior tours. Prior. Eyes. Okay. Uh, yeah. They do kind of look like a half of one. They look like ostriches. Here, you're that bearer who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Of course. My luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Now, I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. Well, it's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. All right. I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. <laughs> claimed it? <laughs> All right, eaten it, but, but, but only might have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry. There, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say. The ladder's right over there. <laughs> we'll do this one first. Here we go. Never heard of crabs eating crystal. This should be interesting. Get him, boy! Get the boy you've got for. So Miss Nikki, uh, I'll check that once I have finished the first or the recording. Get him, boy. In between, I should say. This must be it. No point spending any more time down here than I have to. All right, let's get back up there and give it to him. <sighs> Was oh, this guy right here? No, I think he's up here. He's 
doing all right. Well, any luck? Yours, I presume. You found it! Oh, thank you! Any longer out in the sun, and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. It was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. Right, there we go. Uh, yeah, uh, he got mad at me for a while about something. Y'all give me just a second. That's her. Okay. There we go. That's just. I got you now. I know what it is. You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. I'm going to see if I can jump over this bridge. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you barely have to step out your front door. Yeah, Miss Nikki, a lot more of that. That's one of our branded. You can't have gone far. I better keep my eyes peeled. A lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. Okay. Oh, 
we got a chest. Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. We don't understand. Martha takes in bearers. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. We never knew. I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And... Sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. I've been called worse. Oh. I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But... If I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. A bearer without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. Okay. Uh, I think we can just go right here. If I'm leaving this to a bearer, I'll... There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse, torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter, then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean, I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. I only wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really... He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. All right. And now, I don't know where we're going now. 529 yards. How are we supposed to get there? Okay, beast against beast. Let's put a marker down right here and that way we know where we're going Martha said the blight had spread even further south pushing yet more monsters down with it I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. Uh. 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 
Level up. Nice. All right. Uh, let's head this way. I gotta remember how to do some of the the other things as well, but I think we gotta go that way. I gotta remember how to level up and do all of that stuff. Use that blade of yours. Oh, curse my luck. I branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Wait. That's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You in the Marfrys, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you then. Not while there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Made out bait. Think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Well, we'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. We'd made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? All right. All right. I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if it's safe to come across. All right, off you go then. Prioritize quest. One baby boy. Hold on one second, y'all. Tipper. Tipper has, uh, Tipper. 
You have got to stop trying to climb over my cord. What's up with that, baby? Look, look, you knocked my cord off. <laughs> yeah, why do you do that? Oh my goodness. Give me just one second while I'm here. Actually, I have something else I need to do, I think. Instead of doing that there. Yeah, you, you stay right there. Um, Hold on. Alright. There we go. That makes it much easier. That way it automatically deletes it, and I don't have to... Uh, I don't have to do it the other way, so. All right. If y'all will actually give me just a second, I am going to take a very quick uh, break. I'll be right back. All right, we need to go, is it back this way? All right. Wonder how long that bait will last. Are you, Bryce? What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single Bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick! You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, Bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. I have no master. I am my own master. Buddy. All right. Let's go this way. Look, the windmills. That must be Eastfall. These things gonna be mad at me if I get near them. Oh, 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 oh! No, no, no! I'm not trying to hurt you. Oh, oh well. Get him! boy! I just wanted to admire you, and then you attack me. <laughs> Don't admire me! Uh-uh! I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. Rosaria seemed a very different place back then. Clive Rossfield. It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. It's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. 
If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes. But oh, to take to the road at such a tender age, It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. Do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing. Does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Ah. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. I... I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child, you look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. <sighs> Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years, without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. If it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? 
I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. Remember that night on the balcony, when we looked up at the moon? I said a prayer to Metia, and that prayer was answered. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. <sighs> we should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. If we follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. He was sound asleep there for a few minutes. And I found a bag of, they're called pita chips. I don't know exactly uh, what brand it is. They're red and white. Uh, but yeah, they're called pita chips. Uh, there's a shop here. Okay, so there's an obelisk here. Okay. He keeps walking over my headset cord. Where are you off to then? Or hasn't your master told you? Either way, I expect our humble village and your final destination. Not to say it didn't have its charms. Take that tower. Relic of the Fallen it is. Must have stood there a thousand years. And in all that time, no one's ever been inside. Mysterious, eh? Oh, they're good. 
You're buying, I'm selling. So, all of the stuff that I have actually, um... Made is still a lot better than what I've got right now. So... Uh, I'm not going to spend that much money. Okay, do I get to jump over? You! Those are Elwins! By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastport. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, Many who lost their masters fled here, in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brec. The duchy was dissolved and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their granted, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rossfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions been daydreaming for too long but still I would ask a favor of you a small mercy if it is within my power one of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn I don't ask that you take him into your service only that you meet with him let him see that Elwyn's son still lives and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. I'm sorry to hear that, and thank you very much. Good night and sweet dreams. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. Sure He's not here. 
Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastpool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer, either. Though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around, then. Thank you. Okay. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'd often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream, he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Vicerine stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper who might know where he is. He's taken the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with him. Patrick, the chocobo keeper. Thank you. We will. I'm sorry, Jill. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. Okay. Alright, give me just a sec. Uh, I am wondering, okay, so each one is under, oops, under five gigabytes, um, uh, I'm just trying to figure out how long I can stream without having my hard drive fill up. Uh, let's get rid of that. Hmm, where the bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. 
You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. So that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on a bound to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here, we'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Okay. So he went back to the... He went back to the castle, it says. Still no sign. I wish this game had more of a a manual a, a run to it instead of it just automatically running. Look, there's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. Company. We can't lead them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. Get him! Sick him, Toggle! Yeah. There, boy! Sick him, Toggle! Enemies slain. We got twenty thousand gold now for kill. Are you all right, my friend? Come on, let's go home. Your grace, you came for me. I waited for you so long, but you finally came. I'm not who you think. Clive. <sighs> yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the Founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you... wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete, I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day.
Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half our worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad. I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damned near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. I've got to figure out a way to feed all these people and take care of them. Y'all find the food I cook. <laughs> I don't mind cooking. One of my friends the other day asked me if I uh, said something about she hated cooking. I said, oh, I love cooking. I said, Said I, I cooked some good stuff. And she says, You gonna have to come cook for me. <laughs> I said, I don't know about that. <laughs> I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leaching the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants, no animals, no life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. We won't be able to use any magic here. Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the lad's life force. And problems are all that's left. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the Blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. All right, so we also need to cure the blight. There it is. Phoenix Gate. Where it all went wrong. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. Okay, we need to go Phoenix Gate. Uh, we can go to any of these others as well. The Hideaway. All right, well, I guess we're just gonna, oh, wait, 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 nearby activities. Okay, to Phoenix Gate we go.
It's almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. Buried memories. Could I have done this? Could anyone? What is it, Orgul? Clive. That's him. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. All right. In favor of not having to, uh, cut it in the middle of a cut scene, I'm going to go on and do that. I'm going to grab that rest of that bag of stuff right quick and I'll be right back. Uh, I just got to step across there and grab it. Stay. So it's actually Ritz toasted pita chips, crackers. Um, All right, we'll do one more uh, 50 minutes to an hour, and then I'll have to go, because I got to, I forgot I have something to, I do have to do tomorrow. I've got to have something else on my phone. All right. Okay. I gotta say, those things are really good. Okay, Torgal. Where is he? 
Nowhere to be seen. Damn it! He's like a bloody eel. What is this place, anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The apodotry is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Whoa. Thank you, Joshua. Are you sure about this? Never more. So where's the Ifrit gate? That we gotta go to all of them. Something. I don't know. <laughs> Now it sounds like Stranger Things. Let's see if this one opens. Could this place really be a fallen ruin? You could hardly call it a ruin. It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. Have you ever seen anything like this? I love Jill's hair. Whoa. What do we do? The usual. There, boy. Sick of toggle, it's over. Here we go. Sick of toggle. You know what to do, boy. Don't let them get away. These are fallen hunters, it says. 
How can these things still function? How can any of this? This must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell. All right, let's go this way. way uh i'm trying to figure out there's there's something that we can do okay yeah there's something we can do if we're in here <sighs> trying to figure out how you done it you I don't know. Is it this way? No, I think that's the way that we just came in, so... Yeah. This way! I can't remember what you press to... to get Torgal to show you the way. Did we go backwards? I think we must have went backwards. He got me. having a blast absolute blast
bombs. I don't think I've seen them in this yet. Would Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too? No. At least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. Back down. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded oh. by contraptions hellbent on murdering us, I expect. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking. I did not mean to take the stone skin thing. Okay. Are you okay, doggy? All right. He's okay. New enemies approach. Get 
this way, I guess. Dog, you know what to do. Sick of I don't remember how to do uh, certain things in this, so if we get to that point where I have to do the quick time events, I don't know if I'll be able to. giant dismantled one thing about this game right this minute is that if i wasn't on easy and they were actually even more of a a damage spun sponge okay i was just making sure some uh a damage sponge it would be forever to get rid of these guys What are these creatures? And why do they keep attacking us? They're probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. Jill, look. Is that some kind of you? It's worth a closer look, whatever it is. I 
I don't know if these are all potions or what they are, but I am going to pick them up. And then there's a box over here. Then. Uh oh, what is this? A leech. A leech. This place holds even more secrets than we thought. Okay. Um. did something now we gotta go back the other way I'll wait and pick that up after this battle here <laughs> Okay. What 
have we here? Another Light. fallen wonder. There's a third door. There was a third door that we didn't have to go through. It isn't a dead end after all. Apparently not. What's in it? How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years? More? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. You're him. The second dominant of fire. Who are you? What in the world is going on? We are you. Uh oh. Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. I'm sorry. I forgot. 
failed you. Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. I feared the Bai. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. I wish there was some way to remove the brand from his face. Oh. Yeah. 
Whoa! That was not good. <laughs> What is this? Accept the truth. This game has got the most epic battle scenes, I swear. It is so awesome. Oh my gosh, that is just amazing. I love it. Woohoo, doggies. Oh man. What is that?
Mm. Clive, are you all right? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. No more chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. I want to know what that mural is. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me, Ifrit. Oh, Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? Well, he's done, found out it's him! I need but to know. Also, his- I'm still breathing. I might as well make myself useful. His brothers heard it too. Together. I want to learn the truth too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth. Even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet, they're what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill. If he is here, then the disturbance I felt at the care must have been confounded. The hour is later than I thought. 
Yep, it's Joshua. Okay. Meanwhile, Castle da Dasbog. Uh, Delivered. Who, who delivered the coffer said he said Sid paid him. I let you run amok with the rest of your rats, and this is how you repay me. I'll find out where he is. Crush him! Flay him! Rip out his heart! Him and all his filthy brood! And send every last one of them to Out. No! Yes! Yes, my lord! It must be her head in the box. I'm assuming it's her head in the box. But I don't think Sid done that. The meaning of life. Ifrit awoken. Clive has gained control of the icon Ifrit, allowing access to new iconic abilities such as ignition, a fiery lunge that drives back enemies while dealing continuous damage as well as unlocking the Limit Break Gauge. Slots for Ifrit's abilities are shared with those of the Phoenix and can be confirmed via the Abilities tab in the main menu. Limit Break The Limit Break Gauge is located beneath Clive's HP bar. Release Clive's Inner Beast and Semi-Prime into Ifrit by pressing the two sticks together. When this gauge is full, the gauge fills in battle both by taking damage as well as successfully performing offensive and defensive maneuvers. Semi-priming temporarily grants increased attack, potency, and speed, gradually H gradual HP regeneration, and ground guard-breaking strikes. There we go. So, what next? We return to East Pool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again, about Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid, too. All right. We should arrange an introduction, then. All right. I need to check some stuff, then, because we've got these. Uh, Ifrit shares these, so I don't know what we're actually going to... <laughs> okay, we got a ability points, and here we go. Uh, heat wave. All right, abilities. Efreet channeled. Ooh, there we go. Uh, we've got quite a bit of them, though. Um.
Summon a storm of fireballs that circle about Clive, damaging nearby enemies, uh, nearby targets, while also absorbing damage. Okay. Ignition. Ooh, I like that one. Let's uh, go ahead. Can I've, I've already done all of those, I think. So also, we've got Heat Wave. Uh, these are upgradables. Flames of Rebirth. Oh my gosh. So I think what we're going to do is actually go for that one. Oh, you know what? That's... That's three and three. That's only three and two. I think that I'd like to do that one. And I don't like gouge. I do not like that. So I don't really like that one either. Okay, let's go and actually buy that. Let's buy that. And we'll replace some of these others. Um, Phoenix Shift. Now, I, won't, I think I want to do Rising Flames, or let's see. So, I'm going to use that one instead of that one. So, we would need to upgrade that one. And I'm going to use that instead of that. So, I'm not going to touch those others because I want the other one. Uh, let's go in here. Horizon Flames, I want Ignition. Okay. And then for that one, I want Rook's Gambit. We're going to go with that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save our game right quick. Now that I know how to do that. And there we go. All right, so from there, uh, I honestly don't really have enough time to do anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and head out, but I have had a great time tonight. Uh, absolutely a great time, and I am going to definitely be back on this as much as possible. Um, we've got so much left to do. And hopefully, hopefully everything will be pretty good. Um, so I guess that's going to do it for tonight. I want to see what these are. I don't. Okay. So yeah, we're trying to do story focused right now. I don't need controller audio, but what is the visual alerts? Okay, I, I got you. It would have been nice if I'd have seen this earlier. <laughs> Animal Instinct hold L3. I guess that's where I'm trying to get Torgal to go find stuff for me. But, there we go. Um, that's going to be... That's going to be it for tonight. Let me go ahead and return to the title. I really wish I had more time to stay and play, but... I really don't. So, thank you for being here, and I shall see y'all next time. Y'all have a great night.